Thick. Hey guys, Heads here from Infinity Loops and welcome back to the Mob Light 7. I guess the Mob Not So Light 7. I've made some changes and I figured I'd go over them with you and also touch back on a few things I said about this whoop in my first review. Um, just kind of see if those things still hold up, if I've changed my opinion on anything, and if I still think it's a good buy. One of the first things I forgot to mention in my first video was the fact that when you're putting in one of these big 650 or 451S batteries into the Mob 7 at least, the Mob Lite 7, it does have a tendency to catch on the motor wires. So one remedy I found for that is, uh, well one, I'm not even using the Mob Lite 7 frame anymore. But number two was I took the motor screws out, got the motors loose, and I gave them just a few twists, like one or, or two or three maybe twists, and then put them back down and bolted them back in. And it just kind of put a little more tension on the wires and um, kind of bunched them up a little better so that there was less of a chance of the battery hooking onto an individual motor wire. So speaking of the frame, let me get to that. The stock Mob Light 7 frame is exactly the same design as the Mobula 7 original V1 frame, which were very fragile, very fragile. So as I expected with this frame for the Mob Light 7, I broke several of them uh, after several hours of flying it around the house, especially with hard wood. I, I had a few epic crashes that really tore into some frames. So I eventually made the switch over to the Mobula 7 V3 frame, which is very durable and uh, it's built like a tank. It's much heavier than the original frame. So that is a downside. However, replacing your frame constantly on the Mob Light 7 is annoying and this solves that. Another thing of note I have changed is the canopy. The original canopy was that TPU uh, 3D printed G-string that kind of went down the top side of the whoop, it bolted in the two spots, and then it held the camera down in between the two front ducts here, which I love the fact that it had it down low and that the ducts were out of the camera shot and everything. However, every single time I hit the ground, every single time, the camera would move, and I would have to put it back every single time, and it was driving me nuts, so I finally went with a different canopy, which takes me to the final thing that I changed on from the original Mob Light, and that is the camera. So the FPV camera was the Runcam Nano 3. I prefer the Cadax Ant. The Runcam Nano 3 is a great camera. I, there is really, minus the fact that this one just fits better into the canopies I'm using now, short of that, that's really the only reason I changed it. So outside of the things that I mentioned, the only things that remain from the original build are the motors, the props, and the flight controller. Okay, enough talking. Let's get some flight footage. First thing you're going to see now is the footage from the Insta360 GO, and that is with this TPU printed mount. Again, that can be found in the description down below. And uh, this is just a nice slow cruise through the house, just trying to get some sweet cinematic stable footage. And last but certainly not least is the B-Brain V2 canopy and that is probably how I'll end up leaving this whoop assembled. So let's go ahead and check out some footage from that canopy. So 
So that should wrap up the re-review of the Mob Light 7, now known as the Mob Thick 7. Uh, I am going to end up just keeping it in the Mobula 7 V3 frame and the B-Brain V2 canopy with the Cadex Ant camera in it. I just It still flies just as well in my opinion and uh, it's much more durable than what I started with. So uh, I still think it is a good purchase. I still think it's a good whoop to get. I don't know if I would recommend it for new pilots. I think having to reset your camera constantly and snapping frames that easily is probably not a great selling point. The tune on it is fantastic. It does fly really great. And the components it comes with as far as the, the electronics is great. It's all really good stuff. It's just structurally not the best execution in my opinion. I know they went for being light and kind of copying off of the Shutterbug build. However, I just don't think it was executed as well as it could have been. So this is how I'm gonna keep mine. Let me know in the comments down below if you've done any changes to your Mob 7. Maybe I'll try them out on mine. Other than that, I am going to charge up some batteries and go fly this right now, actually. We got some nice weather today. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.